Hi everyone, this is Miss St. Laurent and today I'm going to be teaching you about an addition strategy called the Make 10 strategy. Other names for this strategy also include Bridge to 10 or Make a Friendly 10. Before students can start using this strategy independently, they need to know all the addition facts that make 10. Here are the facts that students need to know. It is important for students to knew, know these facts rather quickly so that they can begin to visualize in their head what the different combinations of 10 look like. Let's take a look at when we would use the make 10 strategy. We use the make 10 strategy when one of the parts in a number sentence is close to 10. If one of the parts in a number sentence is a 9 or an 8, or a 7, then this is an effective strategy to use because all those numbers are fairly close to 10. We're going to start looking at the Make 10 strategy by using concrete materials. This is a double 10 frame and it helps students to quickly see how many are in each part that they are going to be adding together. We're going to put some counters on the 10 frame to show what 9 plus 5 would look like. So we're going to show 9 with the red counters, and we'll put those all over here on this 10 frame. And then we're going to show 5 with the green counters. Okay, we're now going to use our make 10 strategy to find the total. In this strategy, we ask students to make a friendly 10 by taking from one number to give to the other. So I see here that the 9 is really close to the 10. By looking at my 10 frame, I notice that 9 only needs one more in order to make 10. So I'm going to take one from the 5 and move it over to the 9. This allows me to make a friendly 10, which is an easier reference point for students to add. Now my number sentence shows 10 plus 4. And that's a lot easier and quicker to add. 10 plus 4 equals 14. Students should also be noticing that 9 plus 5 is the same as 10 plus 4. We are not adding or taking away any counters, just simply changing the arrangement to make it easier to add. Let's look at another number sentence where one of the parts is 8. We said in the beginning that we use the make 10 strategy when one of the parts in a number sentence is 9, 8, or 7. So let's show 8 plus 4 on the 10 frame. So we're going to have 8 red counters plus 4 of our green counters. So now students again are asked to make a friendly 10. So since 8 is closest to 10, and I can see by looking on the 10 frame that it only needs two more to make 10. So I'm going to move some from the 4 to give it to the 8 to make 10. So I see I need to move 2 over this time. Okay, now I have a full 10 on one of the 10 frames and 2 on the other 10 frame. My number sentence now shows 10 plus 2 and 10 plus 2 equals 12. Again, we want students to notice that 8 plus 4 is the same as 10 plus 2. After students have had many opportunities to use this strategy with concrete materials and pictures, the next step is to gradually have students visualize making 10 and moving the parts around. We call this abstract. So this is an abstract number sentence where we just have numbers and symbols and no manipulatives or pictures to use. This is where those addition facts that make 10 need to be recalled quickly. This is where that comes in handy. Students need to be able to visualize what numbers go together to make 10. So let's look at this number sentence and kind of talk it out. Here I see 9 plus 3. Well, I know that 9 is very close to 10, and I know that 9 only needs one more to make 10. That's its partner number. So if I take one from the 3, so I minus 1 from the 3, that would give me 2 on that side. And now I'm going to take that 1 and give it to the 9. And I know 9 plus 1 makes 10. So now I have 10 on one side plus the 2 on the other side equals 12. So 9 plus 3 equals 12, and 10 plus 2 equals 12. Here is 7 plus 4. 
We also said seven is a number to use a strategy for because it's very close to 10. So I need to know what is the partner number of seven? What do I add on to seven to make 10? So I know that seven plus three makes 10. So I know that I need to minus three from the four. So I'm gonna take three from that side, which leaves one on that side, and I'm gonna give that three to the seven, because I know seven plus three equals 10. Now I have 10 plus one equals 11. 10 plus one is the same thing as saying seven plus four. We're just using that friendly 10 because it's an easier reference point for students to add. So this is that abstract phase where students need to be able to quickly recall the combinations that make 10 and picture in their mind what is happening when I make a friendly 10. So students need to know that this is an effective strategy to use when there is a seven, eight, or nine in their number sentence. This video demonstrated how to use the make 10 strategy when adding. Try it out next time you see a 7, 8, or 9 in one of your parts.